All right, that last example we looked at was a rounded binary. It was rounded continuous binary. And it was a classical style piece. Now I've picked uh, a Baroque era piece as Handel Prelude in G major. It's, um, it's, it's more typical. I mean, if you're, if you're looking for a balanced piece, you're more likely to find them in the Baroque. And, and so that's where I went looking. And I've, I've got a box here around the last three measures of section one. Uh, easy to see the sections again because we're looking at the score and we've got repeat sign here for that and another repeat sign here for this. So it's two reprises. It also has PACs there. So if we were just listening, we'd be able to, and, and say they didn't, say nobody took the repeats, you would still hear binary form because you've got a PAC here. There's your 5 1 and there's your D up top. See those matching Ds? That's a PAC. Here we've got another one, 5 1 in G, and there's that G up top. So that, that's a PAC as well. Okay, so two PACs, two repeats. This is binary. Now, what makes it balanced is this whole boxed chunk of music comes back here. Now, it's not as easy, it's not as uh, obvious on the page, maybe, because it's moved. You, you've done it in D here. You see that leading tone, C sharp several times. There's a modulation. Well, from what? Let me make sure we know. We're in G, so here's our G major. When we start getting the C sharps, we move to D. This is a modulation from 1 to 5. Very common to do that, especially in major. Okay, so this is a pattern. Take a look at it there. That comes back here, but now you're in the key of G. So there's that leading tone to match. And recognize the pattern between the two. And I hope you'll sing through it or listen to it and really catch on to the similarities between the two. Now it's true, the bass is, is different in some ways, like this is, these do not match, these two spots. But see, when we're talking about balanced or rounded, we're talking about the main melody, the melody up top, the one that you listen to is the most prominent melody. And they match, so that's, that's balanced. Now unless it's the ends that match. The opening, if the opening came back in an obvious way here, not as developmental, not a digression kind of presentation of the opening, but as a return to this theme, this whole theme, then, then it would have to be rounded. Let's see why it's not rounded. This may come back. I mean, see, look at that. That sounds somewhat similar, but ah, that doesn't quite work. It doesn't continue on with enough of this. Now here's here's some more descent, but then see it's just not quite the same. It looks like he's got a sequential pattern going on here. Okay, so these match, then this. Okay, then that. All right, so we've got sequential stuff going on here. Now just a quick review for sequences. We're going C, and notice the pattern is a two a two measure pattern, repeating here up on D. So this is going up by seconds. It's a chromatic one, isn't it? So we've got A, C sharp, E as the main notes here. This is tonicizing that. So we're, we're, uh, we've got a sending second sequence with these applied five, six chords in the middle. Here's another one moving up to E. So B major tonicizing the E minor that falls. So there's a sequence. This is typical. The beginning of the second section, we're going to cut loose, use sequences to make it more mobile, use some accidentals to push this away. Here it looks like we're tonicizing E because he, he abandons the sequence here and does something kind of like this, doesn't he? Yeah, there it is again, that idea, the ending coming back here. Now look at that. It's, it's moving to six, and a PAC in six. Now you know you're not done because you hear it in six. This is gonna happen a lot in Baroque pieces where it explores these different places, different keys in, in the beginning part of section two. 
Okay, so here's Hondo going to six. So he's heading to D maybe. Oh, but this looks like a sequence. See that? These match to these? Not quite. No, not quite. All right, and then here, ooh, now this looks sequential. Well, it's a melodic sequence, but it's not a harmonic one because, and it's not a, it's not a sequence in its entirety. The bass line doesn't really participate with it. Okay. And this looks familiar. He's taken this, but he's shifted it. And it's nice of him to beam it this way. So that you can hear that there's there is a similarity in these patterns and this. Hmm, interesting. Okay, and then here, or right, is this the opening? It's our main thing we're looking for. No, it's not quite the same, is it? We don't have that leap at the end. All right, so we've been kind of exploring this section just to get an overview and see what materials is he using. Well, he's using stuff from the opening, but. You know, like this run, we see a lot of things that are based on that run. But nothing that quite sounds like the opening. Go ahead and listen to it and see if you hear this return. And you hear little bits, but it never quite gels. So you don't get a sense that this opening comes back. And because of that, it's not rounded. Uh, there is a, let's see, there is that cadence here. Is there another? Not really, it just keeps on rolling. Five, one, four, okay. So we've got a cadence there in six, and then the PAC here. All right, now that is, that's a striking thing to my mind, that in the Baroque you often have these, these PACs, but in six or in four, uh, usually predominant chords tonicized. So um, four and, and six, and if you're not in minor, but if you're in major, two works as well. All those are good places to head. Four works, six works. This is what it would be in major. This is the, the chord you'd be tonicizing in minor. And this is why I cannot use two. You can't make a diminished thing into your tonic. You can't modulate to two. It's just not going to work in minor. But all these other keys are, are fair game. They happen a lot in section two to create contrast before you get back to your home key. Now in this case, we get back to the home key right about here. Uh, maybe we could make a case, okay, five, yeah. Okay, ton of size five, five, one, six, two, ton of size five, and now, okay, so somewhere in here, you're gonna, you're gonna get back to your G but there isn't some big dramatic moment the way we had here, where it's like, boom, you're back. Uh, here, you, you just gradually make your way, ease your way into the new key in a seamless manner. All right, the, let's review the main things. So, it's, it's binary. You can see that on the page. Uh, the sense of return is only in that the ends match. In other words, there's a rhyme. The two sections rhyme. They have the same sounds at their ends. Um, is it, har think harmonically now, is it sectional or is it continuous? Well, we gotta look here at the end. We're ending on D, it started on a G, so it modulated, we don't end on the tonic in the home key, it's continuous. So this is balanced continuous binary. All right, let's move to another one. 